Hello, my friends. Liberty Garden, Saturday, July 31st. Back at the farm, coming the day, the day's coming to an end. And today I came to uh, just do some fencing and uh, there's a lot of flies, a lot of fly, a lot of horse fly. Massive sons of bitches. Look at that. Oh, you can see that one right there. Right there, it's a blood sucking parasites. Hopefully this. See that right there? Yeah, let's see if I can swat it with a freaking. There you go. I got the damn thing. There's a lot of flies like that. But anyway, I I came to do some fencing, and then uh, this morning uh, I had this little red bull here that. He's still young, but he's not putting on weight. And uh, I came, I gave him a, I dewarmed him. So I used something that uh, is currently on the news. <laughs> and you can't get it anywhere with a doctor. But if you just go to any feed store, you'll get it for $17, $18. Ivermectin. This solution is, uh, I believe this is 25 milliliters per 550 pounds. So I applied about 40 milliliters per, per cow here because they're, they're more than 550. And it's a, it's a blue solution, kind of a little bit runny, oily. It should kill parasites and stuff like that. I don't, I don't think it's doing anything for the, for the flies. So it's like this, right? So for those of you who don't know anything about farming, that's what you do. And then you pour that on there. Obviously there's very little left in here. Usually I was doing about almost full of that. Uh, and this Ivermectin, Ivermectin, yes. Now they say that um, this stuff is real good for COVID. Same as HCQ, but apparently those are banned words on YouTube. And the medical establishment doesn't want to admit to any of this, that they're good or not. I don't know. But if I had that stupid thing, well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind trying a little bit of this. This is the tried and tested medic. Um, I don't know if it's an antibiotic. What the hell this is? I mean, I don't know what it is. It's a... It's a Kills parasites. I don't know what it is. I don't think it's an antibiotic. Uh, I, I might try a little bit. I've heard of a lot of ranchers and, and, and uh, from veterinarians. <laughs> when I was uh, at the camp in Oklahoma earlier this year, one of the merit batches was uh, horsemanship for my kids. And the guy who brought in the horses, he was a local guy. He he would bring in the horses every morning, and he said that uh, his veterinarian told him that uh, he could take the injectable part, the, the one that's injectable, just dilute it in water and we take it uh, once a month, about five milliliters or depending on your weight, basically, you know, you, you get the, this is uh, five, 25 mls for 550 pounds, so do the math and if you're 200 pounds, you're probably doing about uh, 10 mls, I guess. Um, and that's what he said. And he said, well, I take it about once a month and I haven't been sick. And of course, coincidence, correlation, all that stuff, right? Um, they're not the same thing. Uh, but apparently it, it kind of stops uh, the Wuhan and its tracks from spreading in your body. I don't know. I don't think it hurts if you have this thing and you're getting worse. I mean, I'm not saying that that should be in place of medical attention, but before you get to the time where you need to, where your oxygen is below 95, you might want to get some of this stuff and dilute it in water and take a sip. <laughs> Again, this is not medical advice, folks. I'm just telling you what somebody else told me from his vet. And apparently if you go into any of the ranching cattle farms, everybody's saying, yeah, we've taken this shit before, no worries. So I don't know, guys, I mean, Oh, there's a nasty fly there. I mean, it's not working on these flies. They're so nasty, those flies. Uh, but anyway, that's what I did. So if this little red calf, little red bull has any worms or parasites, 
this should take care of it. It's, it's a pouring solution, it absorbs into the body. And but how I was doing it this morning, I've got plenty of plenty on my hands as well, enough to have to get some in my bloodstream as well, I'm sure, even though I rinsed it out later when it was done. I'm sure it was kind of oily, so it lingered around in my fingers. And I didn't have any gloves or anything, so oh well. By the way, folks, uh, thanks for watching. And I'm gonna head back home. I did fly. Let me see if I can swat up my hat. And hopefully, I don't get kicked by the cow. Don't kick me. There you go. Okay, here's another one. Look, look at you think mosquitoes are bad? Here's one that I killed earlier today. Look at that. They're just horrible. Yeah, it's the horse fly. Nasty things. And I, they don't they don't let the cows eat in peace, you know. They, I mean, they, they, I, from what I hear, the, the bite hurts, you know. They, they feel it when the, the damn thing. And, and I see, whenever they fly off, I see the, a little trickle of blood on, on their on their back sometimes. So, anyways, talk to you later, folks. Thanks for watching.